Hello and welcome to my quick start guide for XC Saw. Uh, if you haven't seen the previous one that taught you how to switch on the unit, adjust the brightness levels and then went into a little bit of detail regarding how to set up LK8000 and the common sort of uh, setups that you might want to go through for using it effectively. Now with XC Saw what we're going to do is double tap on the icon to start it and then we get given the option of simulator or fly now if you're indoors and you wish to obviously simulate flying a route or play around with the program simulator is a great option we're going to select fly however oh, with a bit of luck even though indoors we should hopefully get a GPS signal here we go so that's given us a GPS signal this is the normal map that gets loaded up initially as we can see it gives us uh, various aerodromes and airspace such as uh, if you look at we've got Benson up here and their mats we've also got uh, White Waltham, High Wycombe and I shouldn't say mats it's actually an aerodrome traffic zone with two miles we've also got the London TMA marked up and various other boxes on the left and right which give us various sort of options of selecting things so uh, the first thing we're going to talk about then is these info boxes on the right and left say I don't want to know uh, whatever it is as a piece of detail I'd like to select something different so instead of having the McCready manual I'm going to click on that and then I'll be able to go to setup so I can either edit it or I go to setup and I'm going to switch info box now by clicking that I can then change whatever it is I want displaying in that box so last thermal average, nearest airspace horizontally, uh, final glide ratio, distance takeoff I'd select that, press select and it'll come up with that option then so let's say I do that final distance, we've not got a task in so it's going to be blank but we select that and it comes up with final distance so once we've got a task in it'll tell us how far away it is now you can do that with all the different boxes on the left and right. Now another useful thing to know is uh, to get to the main menu to be able to select all the various different options you double tap on anywhere on the main screen so you double tap it and you get to this set of menus so what we've got is nav display configuration information. To start off with we're going to talk about how to change the zoom level. At the moment we've got automatic zoom meaning that's about 28 miles from one side of the screen to the other. Now the way to amend that, go back to that menu, double tapping it and click on display. In there we've got two options, display one page of two displayed so we click zoom in, that changes auto zoom off which I had selected before and then by clicking that obviously we can zoom in or we can zoom back out. I'm going to set it back to auto zoom for the moment and that's how that works. Clicking on page 2 you can change the labels, tasks, change the trail, terrain, topography and airspace. Now it's worth noting that the one that's displayed on here is the one that's about to come up when you tap it. So if I click terrain off it's now actually off. So by clicking it back on it's showing me the next one bit confusing but it makes sense after a little while so uh, next option I'm going to show you double tap that again uh, if we go to tasks so if we click on nav you've got tasks down here so you can select that and then you can either calculate stuff for tasks you've already got in or add turn points by clicking on add turn point manage it or selecting rules so that's where you can start playing around with tasks if you did set yourself tasks or flying competitions so we're going to click close on there, back to the main menu. Configuration gives us uh, a number of different options. McCready, Flight, Wind, main ones I want to talk about on page 2. So page 2 of 3 in configuration. If we click on system, this is where we set up our maps. So say at the moment your unit will be loaded with uh, the UK map and uh, UK airspace so very convenient for here but what if you want to go and fly in Italy or Germany or you're going on holiday somewhere so what you can do then is click on site files and you click on site files on the right which will bring up another menu now on here preloaded as you bought it 
there'll be all the various options here for the map database so at the moment we've got the UK map selected we could also select the UK high resolution now that's going to give us more detail overall to be fair better option but it takes a little while to load on startup which is why I haven't used it today um, you've also got Poland, Italy, Ireland and the various different maps that were preloaded when you bought the unit from me so you would then select that, click select and it'll load that map for you obviously we're in the UK in the minute so I'm going to leave it at that then airspace wise you can click on that and uh, then select the appropriate airspace for where you are so you know if you're flying in Holland you can select that click select and it'll load that for you very useful as obviously you want to have the appropriate map and airspace for the area you're flying on other things you can change the map display orientation glide computer gauges um, uh, and various bits and pieces in here for more detail on that I'd suggest you go to the uh, X uh, XC saw website which you type that into uh, Google and the first page that will come up uh, will be XC saw uh, where you can click on the manual download it it's quite useful in PDF now other things I'd like to show you are if we go back by double tapping the button we can now go on uh, so we looked at the configure buttons that was one two and three you could start logger there look at airspace so if we click on that you've got the various bits of airspace that are around you at the minute and the next option I'd like to show you is on information so we double tapped again to enter the main menus click on information now you've got info page one two and three by clicking on thermal assistant which is info page two that can be quite helpful when you're circling telling you where the lift is so uh, large thermal days and you're trying to get up that's uh, rather useful if you uh, click on close you'll get back out of that and back to the main map now the final thing I want to talk about if you single tap the map it'll tell you what's close by so what's it telling me at the minute it's telling me we've got London Class A airspace LTMA1 which is from 2500 feet AMSL up to flight level 195 it's also telling me that um, 5.18 miles direction uh, 012 is where that airspace is and how much we are beneath that at the moment which is rather helpful because you don't really want to be flying in that airspace so uh, you can go on various details there as well which will tell you what it is and where it is and then you could acknowledge it uh, if you start flying close towards it it'll bring up uh, depending on what your settings are it should bring up a warning box or an alarm uh, which will give you a chance to turn away from that airspace or do something about it such as adjusting your altitude now that's pretty much all the bits and pieces I wanted to cover on uh, my quick start guide if you have got any questions feel free to send me uh, a message on eBay and uh, alternatively as mentioned earlier watch my camera as mentioned earlier you can go on Google type in uh, XC saw first option that comes up you've got xcsaw.org click on the manual and then you can download it in PDF 4674 which is the latest option and the one you should have bought um, and that concludes my quick start guide for XC saw uh, if you've got any further questions as I said feel free to email me alternatively if you want to watch uh, video one that uh, focuses on all the other bits and pieces regarding LK8000 and screen brightness uh, then look at the link on uh, the eBay sellers page and uh, thank you very much for watching